Hey there readers and welcome back to Ashley's World via YouTube. It's great to have you back. Today I'm going to do my third video and I'd like to talk about Blood Yellow. It is the second book in my Blood series. It is essentially Zane and Adara's book and it was probably the most emotional for me to write. Those of you who knew me back then probably might remember that I was writing the story while my grandfather was in the hospital and I spent about three to four nights a week for about six months by his bedside in the hospital and that's where a majority of Blood Yellow was written. The emotional death scene in Blood Yellow was written the morning after my grandpa died and this book was very different for me. Let me, let me digress for a little bit and show you the covers. We had two versions. Here's the first version. These eyes. Oh, I loved these eyes, which is why we use the same model for version two. Gotta keep those eyes. Just different picture. Love this. The tagline is, bow your head little oct, it's time. And that is a horrible pronunciation probably of sister in Arabic. You know, one thing I love about these books is I do bring that Arabic culture into it. Let me show you. I have a, a list here of basic words. You know, we have like ob for the formal use of father, baba for dad, om for mother, mama for mom, and you know, getty and seti and eben and bent and, and so forth. So I like that. I, I love that part of, of my Arabic world that I bring that culture in because we just don't really get a lot of that in America. But anyways, back to Blood Yellow. So Blood Yellow is Zane and Adara's story. And again, you know, we rotate between Nicole, Zane, and the bad guy, just like we did in Blood, or, sorry, book one, Blood Purple. But we're really getting more to the meat of where Zane and Adara are developing the relationship while Zane and Nicole are battling their own little sibling struggles. The person on the bad guy side that really steps up to the plate in this one is Lee. And she, uh, she's a badass little girl, woman, who doesn't take no for an answer and really goes after what she wants. And I remember, I remember when, when this book came out, one of my very first fans, Lakin, hey Lakin, um, she sent me a message and the message really caught me off guard. And she goes, Ashley, I think I have Nicole and Lee figured out. I was like, how could she possibly have them figure out? I don't even have them figure out. And she's like, I think they are two sides of the same person. I was like, what do you mean? She's like, I think they're two sides of you. And I was blown away by this. I was like, what? No way. And then I stopped to think about it. And it kind of circles back to what I said before in a previous video that authors write what they know. And I was like, damn it, she's right. I mean, not that I go out and like cut people up and suck people's blood and kill people and all that stuff, but Nicole is one side of me and Lee is the other side of me. And that's just, that blew my mind. Totally crazy. What's even more crazy is my middle name is Nicole, so that's how Nicole got her name. But the way I picked Lee was actually because I was thinking of my great aunt. And again, not that my great aunt was a crazy person like that. But I used her name and you know, so I mean the book Family Ties in there and that really like, I didn't even realize I had done that. So that was kind of a cool little thing to like that aha moment that somebody who, who knows Ashley the author, not Ashley the person, figured out. And it really just is always blown me when I always tell that story when I'm talking to new readers, when I'm talking to them about Blood Yellow. Anyway, so back to the story. Back to my little baby, Blood Yellow. I absolutely, absolutely love this one. It's received quite well. Uh, you know, where Blood Purple, I got a lot. I got a lot of pushback because of the way I did the narration in it. Blood Yellow, uh, my craft had formed a little more. You know, this was my third novel that I was writing because I had Blood Purple under my belt, and I had Maverick Touch the Cat under my belt. And so this one was forming more, and it was a little more solid in the the way I used the narration. And so. I don't have any blowback from that really, but what people really liked was the, the point of view thing because I still kept with Nicole on one point of view, Zane on another point of view, Bag on the other point of view. And this time, instead of, you know, Derek and Hadar for the bad guys, I have Lee and Hadar. And so that made it very interesting. And, you know, Lee brings in her buddy Jonathan to bring in a third 
not romances, I wouldn't call them a, really a true romance, but a third conflict and, you know, pushback on there, which, you know, was really, really a lot of fun to write. I'm sure, like, when my, uh, when my parents read it, they're like, oh my god, what is wrong with Ashley? But I was going through a lot of anger at the time, and my grandpa was dying, and I had a lot of emotion inside of me, and writing is a, is a tool I use to let release of stress, and so this book, you can, I think you can really tell the pain that the author is having to go through to write it, and it really brings, I think, those characters closer to their hero and heroine stage, because remember what I said in Blood Yellow, and my stories takes the full arc of the three books to really become a hero and heroine, because Nicole and Zane are very flawed individuals, but this book really bridges a lot of that gap, and we still, still got a third installment, but this book really does a lot. So, you know, I, I, I loved where the story took me. I, I didn't plan it any way, shape, or form. It just kind of went there. But I loved how it went. And I really hope that when people read it, after they've read Blood Purple, that they think like, wow, I mean, you know, they can't believe some of the stuff happened. Like, you know, poor Alec, he really gets up a shit creek. And, you know, his story... <laughs> I mean, funny story about that, you know, when I originally wrote one of the scenes with Alec, everybody in my beta group was like, no, no, you can't do that. So I deleted it. I changed everything up. And then I just ended up redoing it again because, you know, sometimes those, those characters, they, they know what their fate is and they know how a scene is supposed to, to play out. And authors, we can't write for the fans. We have to write for the characters. And I learned that in this book. I learned that you have to write for the characters. But, so Blood Yellow was a huge learning curve for me. It, it was just a fantastic experience. And I hope that as you read it, that you as the reader are experiencing these things as the characters. And I just, I look forward to you reading it and to your feedback. And I hope by the time you get to Blood Purple, video four, I'm sorry, Blood Green, video four, that you agree that these characters really did bridge that huge gap they were lacking from Blood Purple to become a hero and heroine. So that's it for today's Ashley's Randomness, and I look forward to seeing you back next week. Have a great one.